guys, how's it going? Mike Deck is here, and today I'm bringing you guys a new game. It's called FTL, or Faster Than Light. Uh, it's, I guess the, ooh, excuse me. I guess the technical technical term is it's called a dungeon crawler, and I've been playing this game for quite a bit, and it's pretty fun. So I figured I'd bring it to you guys. You guys can check it out. Uh, so you get like a bunch of different ships. I have not really had that much luck with unlocking ships. Uh, these three are really the only ones I've gotten so far, and my favorite's this one. Um, I really like. I haven't really like liked these two that much at all. So I'm sticking with the Kestrel Cruiser, and uh, I like this layout the best because it gives you quick weapons level up, and you also get a fighter right away. So we're gonna do this on normal, and uh, I'm gonna rename this ship. And let's name this one. What's a good one to start off with? Let's start with um, S O T I. That's like, yeah, soldiers of the internet. Um, if you're in my Skype group, let's the S O T O T I the Sodi. Enter, and let's see. So we're gonna have our captain here. We're gonna make this guy. Uh, Rick. Rick is our captain. Then we have our fighter, which I think I'm going to go with Sour. Then we're going to have our... I think this is our... I don't know. We're going to go with Tony. And... Let's go with Rich. Here. Yes. Okay. So let's get started. So you're basically the goal is you have to try to be, get through ten stages and uh, get to the final boss. Uh, you can level up your ship as you go through, and it's really important to assign these guys to rooms to start off with. So I'm gonna assign Rich the power. And then give Tony the engines, and this guy Rick is going to be in control of our, uh, in control of our ship. He's captain. So now we're going to jump. We're going to see what's around. Okay, we got stores. Um, don't really want to go there yet, but I'm going to go here and then try probably bounce around between maybe one or two stores because I want to build up more scrap. Okay, I'm going to go for the data store. So. You find the Rebel Automated Scout floating near the beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. I'm going to attempt to download the ship's data stores. This way it gives us more information about everything around. Yes. Cool. So now, our map is going to be updated and we can kind of see everything. Okay, so we're going to... I don't want to go here. This looks like a meteor. Yeah, that's a sun. We want to avoid that. So we're going to go... We're going to try to go here. So we'll go to the store first. Hope we can get something. Useful. Ooh. Pike beam. That's really good. Um, but you know what? We're okay without it for now. We could get a better beam later. So I'm going to skip it. Plus, I want the lasers at the beginning because uh, I want to be able to try to... I won't be able to try to level up my guy. So, this is saying that this is a scout and he's trying to try to flee. So, in order to stop him from fleeing, we have to take out his engines, which will stop his FTL drive from powering, which is basically the same thing we have here. So, I'm going to pause first, shoot once, and then go two, three, and four, one of the weapons, and boom, perfect. So, now he only has one laser. One laser is not going to be able to break through the shields. Uh, he's got. Um, his engines are down, so we're going to do one thing here, we're going to fire once, and then we're going to go two, three, and then four on the weapons again. Uh, we missed, but see now his shields are down. So because his shields are down, I can just now kind of go one, two, oh we need to, we need to do two, three, and then we'll do four on the shields, and that should be okay. Perfect. That was exactly what we wanted. So now all now his weapons are down again, his engines are completely down, and his shields are down, which means we can just completely down, which is the red, which means now we can just kind of go crazy and take him out. If your engines are down, you can't power your FTL, 
and uh, your evasion drops. You get more, you can, I'll show you actually. So this is how you level up your ship. Um, evade, we're gonna increase one dodge. This brings our dodge up to 15. And uh, we now need power bars to activate it. Because we're missing two, we're gonna buy two. And now we can completely power it up. Now our evade is 25. It said 20 in there, but because we got a guy manning it, we actually get more evade. So, and then if we have a guy manning something, there. For example, if, if uh, we got a guy manning the shields, uh, the shields will cover faster. If we got manning a weapon, then the weapons will charge quicker. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six to the exit. I think that's a good plan of attack. We're going to take that fuel, perfect, and the quest beacon is there, so we can still go that way. Uh, pirate ship, okay, an unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins as a stress message until the pirate's cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. That's not a lot, we're going to try to be a hero, and especially because these guys are weak, you can usually take everything. Now, pause real quick just to do some explanation. That's a missile launcher. That's bad. That goes right through the shields and can really damage my stuff. So my goal now is just going to be take out the weapons first. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let one fire like that and then go two, three, and four. Perfect. So he right... Oh crap, he launched... See, now he launched a missile. But my shield was already down. But now his FTL thing is charging, which means we need to take that out. So, we're going to go 1, 2, and 3 onto the FTL. Now they can't escape. And once... We're not going to need this fourth laser, but uh, we're just going to go 1, 2, and 3 on the shields. And that should be enough to take him out and recover everything. So, because we took out the pirate, we get the scrap from the pirate ship. And then normally we might get something from the people we saved, but they ran away. So in that case, it probably would have been better to save, to just take the bribe. Um, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I think. What do we got here? Okay, this is... Oh, that's bad. That's a drone. And they got a beam. Okay, so... Um, probably the best course of action is to take out the drone. Because the beam can't do anything as long as the shields are up and uh, as long as that's out then we should be okay so now we're just now we're just going to go for the the weapons just in case that drone gets fired up again and now the FTL is being charged so we are going to do two here and two here at least one will hit the FTL so it's okay that's why I really don't mind uh, see, now they're recovering their drones. Uh, now let's see. Three fuel, five missiles, eleven scrap. No deal. Not good enough in my opinion. So now we can kind of just go wherever. See, now their beam is up. They're, this guy will probably be healed up in a little bit, but that's okay. We took out the ship anyway. And we're looking good. Eighteen, yeah. See, that was good. We got eighteen scrap. So. I'm gonna rock up here. And then go around and... Settle nicely at the exit. Okay. Hello, we use the last FTL fuel to jump to the station. Um, okay, so we can give them fuel and hope they give us something. I'm going to give them fuel because I have 16 at the moment. 30 scrap. That's good. I like that. So we're going to go here. Let's see what we got here. It's probably a fight. Um, so soon after arriving, this is going to be by a small cruiser. But you have some information we need. Okay, so they're gonna try to attack us. Uh, they have a beam and a miss and a weapon. Okay, so we still want to take out their weapons. If I had a second shield, which is probably what I'm gonna try to get next, um, these next areas would be an absolute breeze. So I'm probably gonna go for that. Okay, take everything we have, just don't kill us. Five fuel, I'm taking that. That's a good deal. Uh, we're probably not getting anything better from just killing them. And now we'll just go to the quest. So we drop them off, and okay, so they fix our haul and show us what they have to buy. Ooh, that's really good. This means like after we jump, our weapons are automatically loaded. That's really good for later in the game. I'm gonna get this though. This this increases our weapons cooldown time by 15%. So these these charge faster. 
that's always nice to have. So we're going to go to the exit. And we're going to move on. So, basic, basic, basic. Um, I don't have any missiles, so I'm going to sell them, get 30 scrap. Uh, we now have no more missiles, but that's fine. We have no more missile launchers. Um, nebulas I don't like. I'm going to go to the red. Red is dangerous. So, civilian means it's pretty safe. Hostile means it's pretty dangerous a lot of ships nebula means that you can jump everything quick but you don't your sensors are down that's what the that's what purple means uh, I'm gonna go to the rebel okay this is a stress okay so let's see what we got here we got here 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 okay so I think we're gonna go I think we're gonna go this way and then maybe hop back up diagonally and then go around. Okay, this usually results in somebody. You find a source with a small distress call, a small research station, here's a small laboratory fire, got caught out of control, and it's threatened to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Okay, you can either you can either get something from this, but more likely than not, one of your guys dies. Uh, we're gonna try to dock and rescue survivors. This usually does not end well though. Yeah. But we didn't lose anyone, so it's okay. So we lose a little bit of our hull in order to get some scrap. This early game, it's pretty okay to do that. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, this is fine, because there's no, um... They have no shields. So they're just gonna get hammered. And their weapons are down. Perfect. So now we're just gonna go one, two, three, and four, and that should kill them. That was easy. Perfect. Um, in these danger areas, you have to let this charge completely because there's something could happen that could change your, the game. And you also cannot upgrade your ship in these areas, which is kind of annoying. Uh, we're going to go up and then to the right. Uh, battle taking place, need someone to by space pirates. I'm going to aid the civilian ship. Okay. Ooh, boy, that's not good. Huh. That's really bad. I need another shield. Okay. So, this is called a Zultan Shield, and you can't break through it, it needs 5 hits to break through it. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of damage here. See? That hurt. <laughs> um, luckily now I can take it out, so I'm going to target everything on the weapons. Hope I break through the shield and take out at least one. Yes, I took out one- I took out that. That's still not good. Okay, that's bad. Um, we're gonna go everything on the weapons again. Okay, cool. We only have one gun now. Okay, that's cool. Um, I need that there. I'll. The doors are not that big of a deal. I'll fix those up in a sec. They probably have an NG, which is why their thing got healed so quickly. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Perfect. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And then this will just take it out. Uh, three, four, doesn't matter. Okay, con so we got 25 scraps and 3 fuel, not bad, contact the civilian ship. And we get hull damage repair, excellent. Okay, so now we should fix this. Let's see how we're doing on health. He's a little, Rich is a little down. So that was fine. Uh, Tony got sl Rick got slammed a little bit, so let's go here. Rich is now good, so he's gonna go back. Tony is going to fix this in just a second. And cool. So now Rick is going to go back. We're going to let Tony heal his brief little health that he needs to heal, and there. Okay, so how are we doing? Little bit. Little bit. Excellent. Little bit. Yeah, the, the weapons guy goes really quick. Now, if we jump into an area that's in here, we have to fight the rebel fleet, which is not good. We want to avoid doing that. It's hard to kill them, and you don't really get anything out of it. Okay, you just detect a rebel scout and attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are recharged, but they're not firing yet. Okay, we're going to defend the outpost. What do they got? They got a laser, and they got a hull smasher thing. So we're going to target the weapons again. Because he's leveled up and I have the charge down time, this should be okay. I should get there before they fire. I do. That only shoots one shot, so I should be okay. I'm just going to keep targeting the weapons, and I'm going to also target the shields. Excellent. 
And now I'm just going to charge, charge, th target this and this. Actually, I'm going to do one on the med bay and one on the oxygen. Excellent. Now they're going to have to fix the oxygen. I can just fire everything wherever, and this should be the end. Goodbye. Okay, we establish what we can. That's pretty good. Beautiful. That's what we want. We get extra scrap. So now we can upgrade. So the only thing this does is really if you get two. So we're going to buy two, get two of these, and get more shields, which is excellent. And we are also going to increase our doors. That will come in handy when people invade our ship. And we're going to get new sensors. And that should be good for now. And of course there's a store. <laughs> going to go there. We'll have to hit the store in a little bit. Okay, so now we can see what's going on. We can see how many people, what they have in order to attack us. Now this ship cannot do anything to us. They have a one shot and a beam. This beam only does one damage and it cannot break through our shield. So we are set. We can pretty much do whatever we want. So I'm going to just kind of hammer this one guy. Uh, actually, let's do this. So now we just go uh, two, three, four. So that, that, see how that did a bunch of damage to him? That was pretty much the goal. Um, we're basically going to try to kill these guys. So now we just go one, two, three, four. So now one guy is dead. This guy is dying. Uh, we're just going to target that so they can't escape. And we're going to target again. So they can't escape. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to kill them. Which is quite a shame because... Yeah, we won't be able to kill them. So we're just gonna we're just gonna throw up blow up the ship. Okay. 32 scrap. Not bad. Uh, we go to stress store and go from there. Lead them to the destination. Nice. Where ooh, I don't know if we can do it. I don't know if we can do it, that's hard. What do we get? Okay, so we're gonna fix this. Buy the scrap. Buy the, buy the fuel. Can't really buy anything. I really want this, but I can't afford it. Nothing right now is necessarily worth it. So I'm just gonna save the scrap, and I don't think I can get to that quest beacon. I don't think I can get to that quest beacon. I can't get to that quest beacon. Can't do it. That's a shame. Oh, uh, well. Um, okay, another outpost where you're going to intervene. Once again, this cannot do anything to us, so we're free to do whatever, but because there's no one inside, we just have to blow it up, because it's automated. So we're going to attack the shields, and we're going to attach the engines. So now they cannot dodge us, so now we're going to attack this, and we're going to attack this, and this. I think these computers means they can heal themselves. I'm not sure, to be honest. So just so these level up, we're going to fire all four, even though we don't really have to. And boom! Hull repair drone, 15 scrap, 24, beautiful. Uh, let's get another this and this. And that looks good. And we are going to go to the next sector. Sultan Civilian. Uh, we're going to go to Civilian because there are two chances to go get good stuff here. I really want a new ship. 